birds of a feather. Valuable items were being stolen from people's homes all over Gotham City. At the location of each crime, Batman, the world's greatest detective, found a bird feather. This can't be a coincidence, he said, examining the latest feather. Later, Bruce Wayne, Batman's alter ego, studied the clues in his private lab at his home, Wayne Manor. His butler, Alfred, brought a news report to his attention. It seemed that birds all over the city weren't following their natural habits. Some were even missing. Interesting, said Bruce Wayne, rubbing his chin in thought. I wonder if one of my old foes is up to no good. This sounds like the work of the... Suddenly, an alarm sounded. Bruce Wayne and Alfred raced upstairs. Through a broken window, they saw a large vulture flying away with an umbrella full of valuables in its talons. It got my cell phone, Wayne said, but luckily, all my tech has tracking devices. Following that bird will be easy for Batman. Bruce Wayne headed down the secret staircase that led to the Bat Cave. Alfred, warm up the bat plane. I think I'm going to need a bird's eye view to solve this mystery. Right away, sir, Alfred replied. Within minutes, Batman was roaring through the sky over Gotham City. The tracker was working perfectly, not that he needed it. It wasn't difficult to see where he needed to go. There were several birds circling a skyscraper, and more of them were coming from all directions. Each had an umbrella full of stolen items. As the birds landed, they crawled through a skylight that led to the Iceberg Lounge, hangout of notorious gangster, the Penguin. Batman slipped through the same skylight. He followed the sounds of birds squawking and chirping and quickly located the cause of the current crime wave. Penguin, just as I suspected. Batman said when he came face to face with the gangster. Who else could be behind such a foul crime? The villain replied with a laugh. There's almost no place I can't get to with my fine feathered friends. Tweet! The penguin blew a whistle and the birds attacked Batman. I've trained them to work for me, said the villain. I'm pretty sure it won't take much to convince them that you're a bad boss, Batman replied, pulling a batarang from his utility belt. The hero hurled the batarang at a fire alarm. That set off the sprinklers, which showered the birds with cold water. The shock freed the birds from the penguin's control, and they flew toward the open skylight to freedom. Now it's your turn, Batman said, tackling the villain. I'm not quite so easy to cage, Batman, Penguin snarled. He flipped a switch on his umbrella, and it turned into a rocket, which shot him out of the caped crusader's reach. Batman pulled a freeze capsule from his utility belt, activated it with a touch of his thumb, and hurled it into the air. Poof! The capsule went off, showering the flying felon with frost. Batman called the authorities. Commissioner Gordon and the police arrived a few minutes later and found the penguin already put on ice. Thanks to you, Batman, said the commissioner. We not only have the penguin, but we also have enough evidence to put him in a jail cell for a long time. He's the only bird I know of that shouldn't fly free, Batman replied. Today's story was Birds of a Feather, pulled from Random House's Batman 5-Minute Stories. 
For more stories like this, you can check out the DC Kids channel.